Sea of Stars is just a few hours away, and if the word 16-bit RPG perks up your ears, then this is a game you'll most definitely want to get your hands on. So, in this video, I want to break down all of the mechanics of the game to help you get better prepared for when this modern take on a classic genre launches. Every action can be improved to either heal more, deal more damage, or add additional effects. This can be done by pressing the action button just before an attack lands. This can also be done to block enemy attacks and reduce damage if pressed right before an enemy attack lands. The party all do secondary strikes when timed hits are executed properly, potentially allowing you to break additional locks on the enemy. There are three known items to benefit from this mechanic. The Solstice Mage Ring, a trinket that causes successful blocks to restore 1 MP. The Artful Gambit Relic doubles the effectiveness of timed hits. And the Osmosis Ring Trinket, this causes successful blocks to restore 2 MP. When you perform a basic attack, you will see these little orbs on the ground. These orbs are called live mana. You can condense these orbs into the attacking party member to boost or alter their next action. Condensing these orbs in do not take up a turn and can either be used immediately or put back if you change your mind. You can use a maximum of three boost charges at once and all of the live mana is lost at the end of the battle. Different enemies can cast spells that will display a number of locks and a timer. Every enemy and spell have a specific number of locks associated with it. The locks will have icons representing what type of damage that is required to break them. For example, a sword lock means sword damage and a hammer lock means blunt damage. If you can break some of the locks, it will lower the damage from the spell. But if you can completely break the lock, it will cancel the spell out completely. Multiple locks will be broken during the same turn. For example, if you use a boosted attack with Zale, it will do both a sword and solar damage. If these locks are on that enemy, it will break both of these locks. The timer represents how many of the party members turns must pass before the spell is cast. The counter seems to be very interesting because if you completely break a lock with let's say two turns remaining, the next time the enemy uses that same spell, it will remain at two turns until it's cast time. Combo points are used to perform combos where the party members will work together on attacks. Valir and Zell can turn her Moonerang into a Sunerang, causing it to do both lunar and solar damage. CP can be gained when either an enemy or the party takes turns, but when you break locks, you gain the most amount of CP. These points can also be learned with the Enchanted Chain Link, which will give the party one CP at the start of each battle. A max of three CP can be available at any given time. When performing an action that requires CP, the party member assisting does not need to have any MP available and they do not lose their turn. All CP is lost when the battle ends, along with any live mana you might have. You can gain an advantage before a battle starts by attacking the enemy from behind. This will deal a small amount of damage and generate one live mana at the start of the battle, along with having the whole party attack before the enemy gets a turn. This also applies to enemies as well, because they too can do sneak attacks, allowing them to act sooner than the party. If you have the Lucian Crystal Trinket, it will make a sneak attack generate two live mana instead of one at the beginning of the battle. These are all the mechanics known so far in Sea of Stars. So what mechanics do you think will be the hardest to master and which will be the easiest? Let me know down below in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell to stay up to date on all the guides and how to's for Sea of Stars. You do not want to miss those. And be sure to catch the stream of Sea of Stars on my Twitch channel, Dustman1028. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.